All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, as you can see, I am on LEGO Fortnite. And this video, I guess it's kind of going to be a good and bad about what it is like to play LEGO Fortnite. Um, overall, it, it's fun to play. I'll say that. Um, you know, it's something to pass the time. But... Well, let's just get into it. All right, so we are in my world. And already, you can kind of see one of my one of the problems. At least, a problem for me. I'm loading into my world. Let's put a torch on if we can. There we go. Obviously, this is not where I ended my game. The last time I played. I had to create this because I know that I'm not going to spawn where I originally ended. So I created the hole and that shit. Look, I'm not even doing anything. All I did was walk to it and shit breaks. Let's see. Door is actually opening this time, but it takes forever to log in and I would stand here and the door won't open. But it's opening now. I just want to show you real quick. So, here's my awesome kitchen. But regardless, all right, I ended my last game right here on my bed. And as you can imagine, straight down from here is that little hole where I started my, where we started the game at. So, number one, bitch and complaint. Is stupid. I don't understand it. Um, just, just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Here's all my villagers. And get up in here. And boom! High complexity area. Remove builds or move away. That is retarded. I'm sorry for saying that word. We'll go stupid. We'll go stupid. We'll say retarded. It's stupid. I should be able to come in here to my world build whatever I want and how big I want and how much I want. <clears throat> you know? I don't really think it's that much stuff in here. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. Well, you know. No, well, I guess we'll I'll take you on a little tour. Here's all my chest for my food and miscellaneous we'll say here's all my crafting areas let's just go ahead and grab this grab that here's all um, my material chest so there we go oh my god get out of the way my throne room is I kind of showed you over there is kind of my living quarters. Over here is my business area. So, nighttime, not my very favorite because stupid skeletons everywhere. Back into the high complexity area. We'll just fly away to my farm. They'll probably follow me, but you know, I. I don't think it's that much stuff right there, but for some reason, it's a high complexity area. So, whatever. I had to destroy, I had a village over the river. I thought it was pretty cool, but then I wanted to build that and I had to destroy everything to do that. Oh my god. Alright, um. We're just going to cut to daytime. Alright. It is daytime. The skeletons are gone. I built my own pyramid as well. If you can check it out. Go check it out. So I want to try to show you as many things as I can. Hopefully I can. If not, I'll try to explain them as best I can. Uh, some things I probably will not be able to show you. Like, uh, there was one time I was playing. I was in the... The desert biome. 
I fell from a high place. I died in lava. And let's just see. You can't. All right. Let's just use that cave there as a as a reference point. Um, that little other thing is I use flags to mark other caves. But say I died in that one cave, and my uh, backpack was lost, obviously, and I had to go back and get it. Instead of showing my backpack in that cave, it reflected like it was, let's just say, that cave. Obviously, I did not die in that cave. I was never in that cave, but it said it was in that cave. So, complete horseshit. And I got corn fused because it was in the desert. I was actually way further higher in this land area. And there's a bunch of caves at the very top there. So it got kind of confusing. I couldn't find it. So took me a minute. All right, now let's see if it's going to do it. It seems like it does it every time, but probably because I'm trying to show you, it won't do it, but we'll see. So I'm gonna run up here. Cause I got bounce pads to help me traverse the area. Okay, so we're just gonna. Whoop. Normally, it happens on this one. A little bit of lag. So that's one of the issues with this game. The lag is redonkulous. I understand they say something. It has something to do with a high number of people playing the game. I got it, but I kind of throw bullshit on it because I think a lot of people are like me and are just getting a little bored with the game because one of their bitches, they're not releasing stuff. And all the updates, we got bounce pads. All right, there it is. There it is. Every, every time I use that area right there, it does that. And I, I, that happens. If I don't hit, if I'm not fast enough to hit the, uh, hit my, uh, my glider back out again, I take massive fall damage. Like, why? Why? That's the dumbest shit in the world. It's no different than this one. Every time, going from that spot to that spot, I take damage if I'm not fast enough. That makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. And it's not because I'm in a high complexity area. It's not. It's not anything like that. So I don't get it. Someone, please, please explain that one to me. Right? Just go back. Go back, go back, go back. So, see? Another little glitch there. So, one thing that they did fix is your person that does... Oh, there we go. You saw that one. And I'm telling it's not because I'm in high complexity area. I could be not in this area and it's just rubber bands. Like, I get it. Everyone was looking forward to this game, to this when it came out. It looked really awesome in the trailer. I played the live event. You know, I was like, oh, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be dope. Like, they released it too early. 100% they released this too early. They gave you... That's not the right thing. Gave you minimal... Still not the right thing. Build. Minimal things. Minimal. Like in my opinion, out of everything that LEGO has available, right? To give you. This is what Le LEGO Fortnite releases. Shit shacks. 
log cabins. You know, pleasant park homes. That's, that's good. You know, that's some Fortnite-esque stuff. You know, and then the Majestic Manor. Awesome. You could have done so much more shit with castle stuff. Have you seen what Lego has for castles? I mean, the Harry Potter stuff. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Shogun Palace. Awesome. I liked that one. The stuff. Probably, I like these two probably the best. The Shogun stuff and the castle. Pleasant Park. Whatever, dude. Wild Cabin. Like, they could have just done so much more, and they didn't. There's so much stuff that is available and could... And my, I don't know. I am not a developer. So I don't know. Or a programmer. I don't, I don't know what you, could be done. But the things that I have seen done... I think they could have done a shit ton better. Ah, so... Um, right here. What is she doing? Uh, thank you. So they finally got it to... I think she's... Is it smelting? Let's talk job. Help the village. Uh, refining. No. So I don't think she'll. So she's using this. I think it's smelting. Yeah, you use metal smelter. She finally does that. Originally, I think they didn't build anything. They didn't give you anything. Which is say working forever. It's working. So. There's one positive. They fixed that. But all the rest of these jobs, for some of these jobs that you guys do, absolutely useless. Like, I don't need someone to get me this shit. I can get this shit. This stuff, easy as hell to get. What I need people to get, where is it? Uh, yeah, I need people to get this stuff. Get me this stuff. This, I mean, well... They get this stuff. But they don't get gold. Where is it? They get this. Cut amber. Get the gold. Or the amber. And I'll make the fucking cut amber. Get this. Get me rubies. I don't need you to get the cut rubies. Get me rubies. Um, I did like... Now you go to caves... Uh, you kill the skeletons in the cave, they will drop you Brightcore, which is awesome, because when I first started playing, Brightcore was hard to find. Like, something that you need two of just to smelt cops. this, which was when way more um, available in the caves than the Brightcore, it seemed like. I get I can get Copper easier than Brightcore, but I need double Brightcore. To smelt copper and obviously iron. That's another thing. Get me copper. You know what I mean? They, they and I had a biome in. I still have a biome in in the the uh, snow area. I can't. My brain's for, uh, not picking up what it is. But and you know what they didn't get you? Frost pine. Why be in the, di the biome and then not get you stuff from that area? Right? Like, they could get me iron. They could get, uh, uh, I'm not going to say that word. In my opinion, they could, because this stuff was not hard to find. And they could get me the, the sapphires. But they don't do it. It's retarded. I'm sorry. Stupid. I keep saying retarded. I apologize if that offends anybody. But, I mean, that's that's just how I feel about it. I, I have... There's so much... There's so much land, right? For you to discover and look at. Like, that's not even the entire map. Obviously, I've done my best to explore as much stuff as I can, right? But it gets boring. Literally gets boring. They give you ability to make ways to travel, right? There's another thing. When I first started playing, you know, I like, I'm assuming many of you were watching, 
the TikToks and the YouTube videos on how to make kind of kind of like a, a train or a travel way. Let's see. But you would use the dynamic foundations and kind of do a railway, right, with the tires and everything. But more often than not, it broke. And they give you thrusters and all this bunch of like most of the time, this stuff just doesn't work. You could uh, you could make a, a balloon, um, but directionally and how to make it so it moves in the direction you want to go, more often than not, did not work. Or you're trying, you're you're just trying way too hard to get it to go where you want to. Which, again, is why I'm glad they put in bounce pads because at least you can get there faster. Like, if I can get to the, uh, the snow area a lot faster now, which is great. Because, again, my villagers don't get the shit for me. I have to go over there and get it. So, way more better. What do I have? So... But there's so, what's this? There's so much potential that they have with this game. But they did. It it was it. It's not ready. It wasn't ready. They just released it and said, "Have fun." And they really need to release us just, just at, at a faster pace. Well, in my my opinion. They're going to lose interest way too fast, and people just aren't going to play this. They're going to get bored of it, not play it. So, lag again. Um, I was hoping it would show you one of my biggest problems with the game is where I just completely, completely get kicked off. I could just be cruising around and my player just completely stops. Right? I can I can do this, but I can't move forward, can't move backward, can't do anything. Everything just stops. And it happens more often than not where it'll stop and then like it did over there, it rubber band me back. Alright. Whatever is annoying as shit. But at least we can continue with the progress of the game. Right, but other times I'll be standing there, and a couple minutes will go past, and obviously I'm like, well, I'm about to get kicked, so I just I'll sit there and wait, or sometimes I'll just end the session because I know what's going to happen, and I'll end the session. No, it you know it just go to uh, the loading screen and take me back to the uh, loading loading page. Super. First read, super annoying, especially if, like, I'm nowhere near my, my area. I'm in the desert, or I'm in the winter area, and I load back over there. Oh, I know what I can show you. Kind of very similar to this. Like I was saying, I had to build this because my bed's up there. I spawn down here. Right? We're going to fast forward to move, Bright Bomber, you bitch. Well, we're going to. The hell is that noise? We're going to fast forward to, like I was saying. My, my snow castle. Ha! There it is again. Did it again. Every time. So. Now you see, I was not lying.
What was that? I'd like to welcome everybody to my very first village that I built. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming a lot of us probably kind of did the same kind of thing. Like when you initially get into the game, you're kind of in, yeah, the grasslands. And you just find a decent-ish area and start going. Which was awesome. The appeal and everything to that was great. I don't want... I don't need that shit. And this was awesome. This is part of... That and this was my initial attempt to build a train. Or whatever. A tram, train, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't succeed. Wasted thousands of wood and materials and everything else to do it. And just eventually tore it down. Oh, there it is again. Look at that. up here. Shut up, dog. There's so many dogs in the Frostlands area. Holy shit. But I can welcome everybody to my Frostlands village. It is not fully rendered in up there, as you can see. Which is another thing that annoys me, but you can only do so much. And in my opinion, I have way more build in this area than I do in that little village or that, that giant building I built were initially opened, right? Way more. Is this a high complexity build area? Hell no. But I wanted to come here so I can show you another example of the spawn in problem. So we're gonna cut and pick back up where my bed is way up there. Oh my god! How many times do you want to rubber band back downstairs? Okay. Here is my bed. Right? So, when I do stay at my... What do I... Uh, uh, Mount Alk is what I call this. My, my castle village. In the frost... Frostlands. And I come back into the game. Where am I at? We'll just go this way. I had to build this. All right? Because guess what? I spawned over in that corner. Up in there. You see that? Over in there. So I had to make this. Which I just... When I respawn down here, I just shimmy away over here, open my door, so I can get the hell out of all that. Because, like I said, my bed's up there. I spawn over there. So. Not, not cool. Epic. Not cool at all. And like I said, I am not a developer. I am not a programmer. I'm not anything... I am someone who plays games, who enjoys playing games. I'm an average game player, like it says in, in, in on, my, on my YouTube channel. I am not an expert in any means, in any way. So, this is just a bitch-to-bitch -bitch session. I 100% believe that this was released way too early, but they wanted to push it out just to get something new and fresh out for everybody to play which was an awesome concept i love building legos in my personal life and this game in my opinion 
epic potential. By epic. But this is it's just too soon. It was just way too soon. So um I'm gonna end this one here because number one, it's not showing everything I wanted it to show. It's just that's how life is. You want to show something and it just doesn't do it for you, right? But, like I said, the spawn in is trash. The lag is irritating. Irritating as hell. Um, the constant uh, uh, shutdown of the game where I lose the server, I guess. And it just kicks me out of the game, which is one of the things I wanted to show you, but it's not doing. Um, the the build, I, like I have all this build here. I don't I don't I don't know how the dimensions of how what they consider high complexity area or not. I don't know it, but in my opinion, this is more of complexity than it is for that one little building. No, well, not little, big building that I have. There's way more build here. I 100% guarantee that. Because I fucking built it. But it says it's fine. I don't get it. Whatever. Expand the complexity area. Whatever you have to do. Um, what else? The, uh, the misleading of where your stuff is if you die in an area and it says it's in one place but it's obviously not in that place is you know I mean and just release stuff faster that's all I'm asking or fix it and then re-release with a bunch of other stuff I, I don't know whatever whatever has to be done like this game in my op opinion could be super awesome I want to build, I, I'd like to build, like, a city, not a village, a flipping city with skyscrapers, and I'm sorry, I'm not that creative, my brain does not work like that, I can't just build a skyscraper out of my own brain. It does help when I have, you know, building specs. I like to build a ship. So I can tra traverse the water over in the grasslands this desert area and be able to, to maneuver it. I like to build a car. We have cars in all the other epic Fortnite games. But, nope, can't build a car or a truck or, or, or whatever. Or a, a balloon that I can actually directionally move would be great. And not have to come up with some rudimentary way to where I break blocks to kind of give it the weight to turn right or left. I shouldn't have to do that. I should not have to do that. But, like I said, we're going to end this one here. Um, if you're watching this video and you're one of my subscribers, I'd like to thank you. We uh, reached 100 subscribers and I greatly appreciate it. I, this will, I guess, kind of turn into a, a, a thank you slash Lego Fortnite rant. So, it is what it is. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, let me know if there's any type of games that you would like to see me play. Uh, do uh, playthroughs, walkthroughs, whatever. And I'll see if I can make it happen. So, until next time, leave a like. Leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll check you later. Peace.